How annoying is it when you start a new PowerPoint presentation and you've got to keep changing the font from the default one to the one you actually want? Slide by slide by slide. Marcus! Well, I've got three different tips to sort that little problem out in no time. And I've also got a little time-saving trick to make sure that every time you fire up your PowerPoint, the default fonts are the ones that you want. So, come on then, let's jump in. The first method is using the replace fonts feature. This is a super quick method of changing all the fonts in a presentation. With the home tab selected, head over to the editing section of the toolbar and choose replace, replace fonts. We'll change our boring Calibri font for something a bit more stylish like railway. And a second or two later, and there we go, sorted. Now it's worth bearing in mind that not all of the fonts will be replaced this way. Specifically, if you've got a chart, you'll need to replace those manually. The second method we're going to use to change the fonts is with themes. If we head up to our font list here, we can see the theme fonts being used. So Calibri Lite for the headings and Calibri for the body. To change this, click the design tab and then in the variants section, choose the drop down and fonts and head to the bottom for customized fonts. You can then change the heading and body font. We'll use Railway for the headings and Railway Semi-Bold for the body copy. And there we go. You can check the changes on your other slides. And if you're one of the 98% of visitors to my channel that hasn't subscribed yet, then can you please do that now? Right then, the third way we can apply global changes to fonts in our presentations is with the Slide Masters view. As you can see, our heading here is set to Calibri. Let's head to the View tab and then choose Slide Master from the Master View section. Master slides control the look of your entire presentation, including colors, fonts, and backgrounds. In the Slide Master view, we'll edit the main master slide. Go to Fonts in the background section of the toolbar and choose Customize Fonts. Here, we can change the heading font and the body font for all slides. Let's change the heading to Railway Light and the body font to Railway Extra Bold and then click Save and then close the master view. As you can see, the fonts have been updated with all of your changes. If you're finding any value in today's video, could I please ask you to give it a like down below? Okay, so these tips are great for existing presentations or for setting up a new one, but how do we ensure that the fonts we love are preloaded every time we fire up PowerPoint? Well, don't worry. I've got you. Let's create a new blank document and then we'll select the design tab and then the drop down menu from the variant section and choose fonts and customize fonts. Change your headings font and your body font to the one of your liking. I'm going to go for Montserrat and Montserrat Extra Bold this time. We now need to save our design as a theme. Choose Save Current Theme from the Themes drop down list and name it. I'm naming mine New Blank. We need to make this presentation the default, so go to the drop down menu in the Themes section and right click over the New Blank theme you've just saved and choose Set as Default Theme. Now when you create a new PowerPoint deck, you'll have your own design as a default option. Sorted. Well, I've got three different tips to sort that little out, that little problem. But before, <coughs> but before we get to that, no, not for it. 